Drop Zone! What's up guys? Today I'm bringing you some um, intense little gameplay I got the other day with uh, LOA You Mad. Actually he changed his name to Optimistic so you'll see Optimistic in here not LOA You Mad. I think he's going to start playing on that. But anyways, today I'm bringing you gameplay, shotgun gameplay. I never really used uh, shotguns in this game. I did a lot in Modern Warfare 2 because you can actually use it as a secondary. And Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops you have to use it as a primary which sucks but I mean oh well but today it is KSG this shotgun is beast mode it is amazing the only problem is is the perk on it I'm sorry the proficiency on it which is the plus damage right now I think I'm running a uh, grip on it and kick I believe but once I get the damage on it I'm definitely gonna be rolling with that the only problem is you have to have weapon level 28, which sucks. I think I have weapon level, um, I would say, I'm, I want to say 16 or 17, and it sucks. You have to run around. Sometimes you actually have to shoot him like three times, sometimes twice. It's kind of retarded, like right there. See, I had to shot him. I had to shoot him twice there. But I actually found out. I went. Uh, I wanted to look up this weapon real quick. It's actually uh, made by Keltec. I don't know if any of you guys know what that that is. Actually, a uh, gun manufacturing company, I believe. I actually have a Keltec weapon. Uh, PF9, I believe, uh, my uh, my little handguns. The, the company's the uh, Caltech is pretty. Um, they make pretty good weapons. This KSG is pretty nasty. I think they just came out with it uh, a year or two ago. It was advertised in, actually in a weapon magazine that I saw at one of my stores on the rack, which was pretty cool. But if any of you guys want to know, the shotgun class I roll with is a KSG. I actually use the dual attachments on it, which is kick and grip. But like I said before, once I get the damage perk at weapon level 28, I'm definitely going to be using that. My secondary, I like the um, MP412 uh, little revolver. It's nasty. It doesn't have much kick. I mean, it does, but it pretty much goes right back to where you point at. and The power on it is amazing. Frag, concussion grenade. Usually, I'll throw a concussion grenade at somebody because shotguns obviously don't have long range. So if somebody's running, I'll throw a concussion grenade at them. They pretty much have to have to stop. But um, I use con extreme conditioning just so I can keep running, just keep running. Quick draw and stalker. Those are the perks I use on it. But um, I do have some gameplay with um, a str some striker gameplay, which I don't really want to post. I mean, the, I, the striker, it, it, it's it's a cool gun. But the only problem is you just go around the corner and spam it, man. I hate people actually use a striker because they actually come around the corner. Like, I've got killed by people with uh, strikers. They don't even look. They just go around a corner, blaze and Oh, real, real quick, look, look at this guy. <laughs> I didn't even know he was there. Uh, LOA you mad was right next to me. He's like, dude, he's right behind you. He's right behind you. And I turn, I'm like, well, what are you talking about? And I turn, I'm like, oh, oh crap. And I shoot him. <laughs> but yeah, um, like I said, the striker, I have, I can get some gameplay for um, with the strike if you guys want me to. Um, I remember back in Modern Warfare 2, all I used to use was the AA-12 extended mags, man. I used to go around the corner. I used to be one of those kids. I used to go around the corner because I used to play third person a lot. I just go around the corner and just bam, 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 just blast it, man. And people used to hate it for me. But, uh, oh well. Anyways, guys, guess what? I actually got summoned for jury duty, and uh, I just got home like an hour or two ago, and it sucked. I never been. I was actually, I wasn't that nervous, but I, I didn't know what to expect, and it was completely the opposite of what I expected. First of all, I get the letter in the mail that I had to go, which is the first, um, yeah, I had to go at 7.45 in the morning. I got the day off of work, which was cool. But yeah, so I get there, it's all the way down, it takes about 20 miles from my house. So I get down to the courthouse, and I can't find parking. I go to this parking spot, and this guy is trying to charge me $10, and I, I said, really, man? I go, where's the free parking? He goes, there is none. I go, okay, I'll find some free parking, bye. <laughs> he just looked at me. So anyways, I found the parking, and then we have to stand in a line. The line was really long, but it went by fast, you had to go through like a... Um, a metal detector and once we get in there's literally a room with like 200 to 300 people and it was amazing like uh, the judge was there just explaining how it works and stuff like that and they they call you by name and they say you know this is a judge you're signed once they call you in your group you go and you know they tell you about the case and stuff like that and I guess you ask your questions so they told me what judge I was assigned to and then I, I go to like there's like a lounge area which is kind of cool they have like puzzles and books so I was, try I was trying to do a puzzle and um, I was doing a puzzle for about two hours. The only problem was the puzzle was already there on the, on the table. It was like 80% done. And it was uh, like a like a house in the background with, you know, um, grass. And all the grass was all green. So I only got like 18 pieces out of it. But whatever. So, yeah, they call me and my group. And I was only there about three hours. And they call me and my group. And I get there. And they're like, yeah, we don't have enough people for your group or something like that. And you're dismissed. So it's like, um... 
cool. And I, just, I, I left. It was it was pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, I got paid for that, which was pretty cool. Yeah, so. But anyways, guys, uh, this gameplay is actually coming to an end. I had a lot of fun playing this, especially with LOA Yamada. We just went around, um, I guess you could say we're the Bash Brothers? <laughs> or the Shotgun, uh, Shotgun Brothers? I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave some feedback. You know, like I said before in all my videos, I love your guys' feedback. It makes me keep doing what I want to do. And it's kind of like motivation for me. So um, leave a comment below, guys, and tell me what you think. See you guys. Peace.